Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully everyone is having a great day as always. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very special year for coin collecting. That is the year 2000 when the United States Mint introduced this very cool Magnes coin. It is the Sacagawea dollar coin. We've got a Denver Mint right here on top, another Denver Mint behind it, and a Philadelphia Mint right here. 2000 was the highest minted year of this coin. So if you're going through your coins and you've got a Sacagawea dollar coin, most likely it is from the year 2000. So in this video, we'll talk about the design on the front of the coin, the back of the coin, the metal content, the highest mintage year, the lowest mintage year, and error coins and prices as well. Uh, the four error coins that we're going to mention briefly, and then I'll make some longer videos about them, are the Cheerios Dollar, the Goodacre Presentation, the Wounded Eagle, and the Sacagawea Dollar in the year 2007 that actually had some edge lettering to it. These ones right here do not have any edge lettering to it, uh, but with the start of the presidential dollar coins in 2008, those did have some edge lettering to them. So in the year 2007, they actually accidentally minted a few of these Sacagaweas that had the edge lettering to them. All right, let's first start off with the metal content of this coin. It is 88.5% copper, 6% zinc, 3.5% manganese, and 2% nickel. The total weight of the coin is 8.5 grams. And what's very cool about the Magnes is what it gives its its color. So the Magnes coloring just goes over the outer layer of the coin. That's why it's only 3.5% Magnes. It's not Magnes all the way through. Now, as far as the design of the coin, what you see on the obverse side, so the front side that we're looking at right here, is Sacagawea uh, with, the, with the date 1788 to 1812. She was a uh, Shushan Native American and a translator and guide to the Lewis and Clark expedition with her son, Jean Baptist Chervon, and the date to the right. So we've got Sacagawea, her son right there, the date to the right. As far as the lettering on the front side of the coin, we see Liberty and God We Trust 2000, the mint mark P or D, and then the engraver's initials, which are GG. Now we'll flip these over right here and take a look at the reverse side. So on the reverse side, we see an eagle in flight with the denomination below, that denomination being $1. As far as the lettering on the reverse side, we see United States of America, E Pluribus Unum, $1. Um, and so that E Pluribus Unum, in case you're unfamiliar with coin collecting, that translates to out of many, one. And the edge of the coin, is a smooth edge so it's not um, got the kind of the ridges ridges that you would expect on a quarter this is a nice smooth edge to it now the highest mintage year is going to be the year 2000 they made 767 million of these at the philadelphia mint again that will have the p mint mark to it they made another 518 million at the denver mint those will have a D mint mark on them. And when these came out, they were quite a big hit, but their popularity really decreased uh, quite quickly after the year 2000. And the lowest mintage year in the entire series was the year 2008. So if you're collecting these and you've got one year that's really hard to find, it's gonna be the year 2008. As far as the mintages on those goes, on those, go they only made 1,827,000 1,820,000 of those at both the Philadelphia and the Denver Mint at each the Philadelphia and the Denver Mint so 1.8 million for each mint of those were minted in the year 2008 as you, as I said earlier that's much lower than the 767 million and the 518 million that were made in the year 2000 and then from 2009 onwards, uh, they retired kind of this design and they started making what's known as the presidential dollar coins, which are these ones right here and the Native American dollar coins. Um, let me grab one of those Native American dollar coins for you. So this is an example on the left of a presidential dollar coin. 
and this one right here is an example of a Native American dollar coin. Now, I'll uh, put the Native American dollar coin and the Sacagawea dollar coin kind of side by side. So we can see the design does change a little. Uh, they move some of the lettering that you see, 2000, and then the mint mark. They move all of that to the edge of the coin. Now, my camera is going to have a tough time. Oh, actually, look at it. It's coming in quite well. So we can see that the... Um, the year that it was minted and the mint mark are now on the edge of the coin starting in 2009 for the Native American dollar coins. The biggest design change is when you flip it over, flip it over on the reverse side. So they uh, starting in 2009, they have a different design for each coin that was made. And it was uh, each one of them has kind of a different Native American contribution. Um, so this one or kind of achievement and this one right here has Jim Thorpe on it. So as we saw on the edge of the coin, well, we'll skip that, but Jim Thorpe was kind of a, a football star, a track star, and so we've got him kind of doing athletic stuff on the backside of the coin right here. All right, now I mentioned that there are some cool error coins. Let's quickly talk about those. So the first one that I wanted to mention is the Cheerios dollar coin, and that is, com that is found on the 2000 Philadelphia Mint. So if you zoom in on your coin, you might have to look up some pictures of this, but if you've got a lot more detail on the tail feathers uh, than I do right here, so if you've got some more, it will look kind of like this section right here, except all in the tail feathers, so lots more detail. Those are actually part of the Cheerios promotional coins that were made. So interestingly, they struck some specific coins in the year 1999, but they have the date 2000, 2000 P on them, and they were using those, they made them early just so they could give them to General Mills as a promotional item to put in some of their packages, uh, some of their uh, breakfast cereal boxes, and so they produced 5,500 of those dollars around August or September of 1999, and they have a slightly different design to the tail feathers of the eagle on the reverse side. And so those are much rarer and harder to find because uh, there's only 5,500 of those compared to the really high mintages that we're talking about of 767 million for the Philadelphia regular mint. So that's a Cheerios dollar and I have some more in-depth videos on those. But the next one of the four that I want to mention that are pretty cool with these era coins is the Goodacre presentation specimens. So Glenna Goodacre, so we mentioned that the initials GG are on the obverse side of the coin right here. She was the one who produced this coin and she won a $5,000 commission awarded by the United States Mint. And she requested that her payment come in the form of uh, dollar coins. So they actually made some cool specimens for her that had kind of a blend. They were like proof-like coins, but not uh, not the full proof finish. They were their own kind of unique coin to them. So she had 5,000 of these dollar coins that were paid to her as kind of her commission for designing the coin. And she took those and she had them all uh, encapsulated by the independent coin grading agency, uh, coin grading company, IG, I, G I C G, which you've probably heard of before if you're into coin collecting. And then she immediately sold 3,000 of those for $200 each. And then a coin collector in Kentucky, Jeff Garrett, uh, later bought the remaining 2,000 coins from her. Um, and then he sold them to different coin dealers and got them certified. So the Good Acre presentation is the second. So we got the Cheerios dollar, the Good Acre presentation. And the next one is the Wounded Eagle. So I'm going to uh, move this aside right here. And the Wounded Eagle, uh, what, where you're going to want the point of focus is going to be in this back section right here, right where my pen is. So looking at that area, that dye variety gets its name from three raised dye flaws that cut across the lower portion of the eagle's torso and wing. Uh, inspect your coin carefully with at least a 10 times uh, microscope to it. Uh, so if, if you've got that available, uh, kind of dig in and look in there and see if you've got that dye 
uh, variety because those are pretty hard to find. But fewer than 200 of these specimens have been reported, and it remains unknown as to the exact cause of the imperfections in the dye that created these coins. All right, so we've got three out of the four. We've got the Cheerios Dollar, the Good Acre Presentation, and the Wounded Eagle. And the next one, which I mentioned at the earlier part of the video, is the 2007 uh, Sacagawea dollar with edge lettering. So we can see these Sacagawea dollar coins right here do not have edge lettering. From 2000 to 2007, they will not. But when they start the new series in 2008, uh, excuse me, I'm not sure if it's 2008 or 2009 where they start the um, edge lettering to them, but 2007 definitely does not have any. So if you've got a 2007, take a good look at it because the mintages are pretty low for that year. And if you've got edge lettering to it, uh, which will be kind of similar to what we're looking at right here, if you've got the edge lettering for the 2007, that will be an error coin because they were not intended to have that edge lettering to them. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for today. Hopefully you enjoyed these videos. Best of luck coin collecting out there, everyone, and have a great day. Take care.